<laughs> I can't even get the words out today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you're watching this, welcome back or welcome to my channel. I'm going to jump right into today's video just so I don't waste time because I've got a lot to cover today with today's topic. Today's topic being burnout. How we can identify and prevent it. So grab a cuppa and let's get started. Loads of you have asked for a video about burnout and that's because it happens to everyone. If you're not sure, burnout is severe mental, physical and emotional exhaustion. Different to common fatigue, burnout leaves us unable to handle everyday stress and responsibilities. Think of burnout like an explosion, like a bottle of fizzy pop building and building up over time until the pressure becomes unbearable and the bottle finally explodes. <laughs> That's exactly what burnout is. How do we identify it? Burnout presents itself in a number of ways, but generally when we're burnt out, we tend to feel exhausted irritable and stressed. We're more likely to keep ourselves isolated, turn to alcohol or bad food and get ill, which in the end leads us unable to handle even the tiniest of tasks to explode or reach our breaking point and eventually burn out. It's not fun and it happens to us all, but we can break the cycle if we mindfully put things into our place in our lives that reduce the risk of this happening again. This leads nicely into why do we burn out? Well, everyone has a breaking point. We're human after all. And sometimes when life gets stressful and we have a lot on our plate, we can wind up feeling burnt out because we haven't taken steps to reduce or prevent it from happening. It can be hard to deal with stress sometimes. I'm not neglecting that. But if we are equipped and prepared, we can nip it in the bud before it gets bad. And finally, how do we prevent burnout? It's a tough one, but don't worry, I've done my research. And I've come up with three different ways we can prevent burnout. And I've tried them myself, so I know they definitely work. I've basically done the legwork so you don't have to. You're welcome. So, as burnout is a result of physical, mental and emotional exhaustion, it's only fitting that we look after ourselves physically, mentally and emotionally. Therefore, my three tips come under these three categories. Number one, look after your body for your physical health. This means get the right amount of sleep exercise regularly and eat nutritious foods. It's important to know there's a real connection between our physical and mental health and when we're neglecting one, the other suffers. So this means we need to look after our body. Get those seven to eight hours of sleep. Make rest a priority in your day. Exercise regularly because when we move our bodies, we release chemicals that boost our sense of well-being and suppress hormones that cause stress and anxiety. And eat the good stuff even when we're craving the bad stuff. It's so important to know there's a connection between our gut and our brain. I explain this in my video all about food, which I'll link below. But basically, 90% of serotonin, the feel-good chemical, is produced in our gut, which means when we eat good, we feel good. Number two, form healthy habits for your mental health. What I mean by this is set tasks in place that become habits over time that reduce stress and calm our minds. These can be things like making your bed every morning, keeping a diary to remember appointments and events, choosing your outfit the night before school or work, and meal planning for the week ahead. All these tiny tasks help us stay organised and prepared so we're ready to face the day. And lastly, number three, enjoy a hobby for your emotional health. By doing things we enjoy, we reduce stress in our lives festering and becoming a problem. Think of stress as a container full of water, with more and more water being added every time a stressful situation presents itself. At some point, if water isn't let out, the container will overflow and we will experience burnout. So the key is to find and enjoy a hobby that releases that water so we can prevent the container from overflowing. These can be things like hiking, drawing or reading. Anything you enjoy doing, do it. It will make you smile and help you find balance. Life doesn't always have to be busy. Find time for yourself and find pleasure in your interests too. After all, they make us who we are. So there we have it. Three different ways we can reduce and prevent burnout. I hope you've enjoyed today's video and if you have, give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe because you might as well. Thanks for your ongoing support and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. 
Take care out there and be kind. God bless. Mm.